fuck are you doing? What the fuck? Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a mod review for the Extreme Violence mod. Um, there's a, a kind of a lot that goes in with this mod. So I will kind of get started. I'm in the middle of the city right now. There's a freaking protest going on which is kind of cool. Everyone's a little bit angry. Um, oh, there's lots of people around. That's nice. Alright, so I guess we will start with ourselves, I suppose. So, this is Sadie. So, with the Extreme Violence mod, I'm gonna say it right now. The name, the name is not a joke. It is extremely violent. So if you click on yourself, um, go to Extreme Violence, there's all of these choices. You can feel your needs, which is nice. Um, you can commit suicide, which is not so nice. You can check your reputation, um, and you need to do that because when you kill Sims, it ruins your reputation. Um, so that sucks. Um, you can check your kill count. You can try and calm yourself down, call over partners in crime. You can take selfies. Um, you can flip the finger, uh, take selfie with a knife, or take selfie with a gun, which is violent. Um, and then in more choices, you can twerk. You can twerk for money, which is great. You can rage or you can show some th sympathy. So there's all of those options for yourself, um, for your own sim. And then options for other people. And who do we have a problem here with though? I mean, is Eliza Pancakes anywhere? Cause she's annoying. I don't know. We're just gonna, we're gonna go with Katrina cause she's right here. Oh, she, fuck me, she's walking away. Okay, we're gonna go with this chick. I killed her in my last in my last attempt to make this video. Um, but there we go. So, um, if these are all of your options, uh, when you click on the Wicked Whim, or I keep saying Wicked Whims, it's not the Wicked Whims mod. This is the Extreme Violence mod. Oh, Sadie really has to pee. She can just go pee. So if you click on uh, a sim and then go to ex more, more options, extreme violence, uh, you can sabotage a sim's reputation. Um, there's deadly interactions, dead with a ch with deadly with a chance of survival interactions, and non-deadly interactions. That chick walked away, so we're just going to go with Dawn. I've also killed Dawn multiple times as well. So when you click on sabotage a sim's reputation, um, these are your options when you click on it. Uh, it'll give you options on whose reputation you want to sabotage because you're gonna do it in a conversation with somebody. And then, deadly with the chance of survival interactions, there's bully and there's choke to death, uh, which is fun. We're gonna bully Dawn and see how that goes, if she'll come on over. Did she not go pee? Oh boy. There, I fixed it. Oh. Just punched him right in the face. That's bully. Interesting. Oh, and now we're bullying some more. So then, apparently, when you start bullying, there's a stop bullying interaction. Um, you can choke him to death. Oh, she's still just beating the shit out of him. Holy fuck! Oh boy. All right, I'm just gonna stop doing that. Oh, she's violent. So here's your reputation points right now. I'm at 11 out of 40. Not so good, okay? He's heartbroken. He's upset. And we're intimidating him. I told you you... Uh, okay, we're just gonna stop bullying. Um, choke him to death. Let's watch that, too. And as you can see, everyone's kind of really upset, but that's fine. So, will he survive? That's the thing. I don't think he's going to survive. Oh, he survived. All right. And then, so when you do stuff like that, you have a bad reputation. So, you can go to Extreme Violence, um, you can clear up your reputation on social media, or you can spread money to clear up reputation. So we're gonna go ahead and start spreading some money to try and clear up our reputation and see how that goes. 
Oh, thank you so much. You're the best. I knew deep inside that you were a nice person. You must be really rich to do this. Uh, yeah, I am. Uh, everyone's singing now, and that's annoying. Oh, Sadie's singing now. All right. Who are you? You're upset because you're on your period, so let's kill you. So, in non-deadly interactions, there's punch, hack information, uh, and criminal partnership, beat up, stock, steal money, and ask to be partners in crime. Um, we're gonna go steal our money. Did we, did we still, did we steal it? Did we steal her money? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Is that bad? Um, more choices, extreme violence. Uh, deadly interactions. You can chainsaw guts, shoot sim, stab chest, or stab guts. Um, you have a man bun, so we're gonna kill you. Extreme violence, deadly interactions. Shoot sim. Y'all ready for this? Just carry your gun. Oh. Oh boy. I know everyone's afraid. She's like, oh fuck, what'd I do? Alright, so when you kill a Sim, the Grim Reaper will show up. He should be here any second. Um, you're left with a pile of blood. And then, there he is. There's the Grim Reaper. He'll come. Reap the soul. Um, fun fact, if you kill enough people, the Grim Reaper gets really pissed. Oh. She dead. Yeah, so we're just gonna kill a bunch of people um, and get the Grim Reaper upset. You better hurry up and go chainsaw her guts before she runs away. Hello? Alright. Well, that's not working. So we're just gonna... Everyone needs to stop running away! Here's the thing. If you've seen it, we're, we, you're gonna die. And I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. If you've seen it, you're gonna die. Here we go. She's carrying her chainsaw. Time to murder some people. Alright. Oh, she's just carrying a- that's a glitch. She's carrying a bowl of chips with her- see? And now the Grim Reaper's upset. Like, this Sadie bitch just keeps killing people. You, girl, you came in at the wrong time. Wrong time. Time to die. Stop eating your chips, Sadie. Stop trying to eat. You got people to kill. Time to stab some people. Stab. 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 What a glitch. Punch, stab. I'm surprised that the Grim Reaper hasn't come and murdered me yet. Not murdered me, but he beats- How are you still alive? What a glitch. Look at this. Bitch is still alive. You just gotta die. I'm trying to kill you. Oh my god! I told you to stop my finger search from all the tapping on the damn tablet. Why? Who killed these people? Did I kill those people? What the hell? How many people did Sadie kill? I didn't tell her to do those ones. Those ones were her own choice. I... I... 
Why aren't you dying? They're just best friends. She's stabbed her like 30 times. Look at her. She's just bleeding. But they're friends. Oh, what a glitch. This game's just glitching the fuck out. That's fine. You just can't die. Is that just a thing? Like, you just can't die? Is she ever gonna die? Oh. Okay. Now I've killed her. Has the Grim Reaper had enough yet? Yeah. So this is what happens. Okay, that's it. I've had enough of you. He just beats the shit out of her. This is violent. And now they're all super excited because they're like, ah ha 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 ha. She's getting beat up. Okay, and then I have a, I'm, I'm a cheater, so I will put up her energy. But she could die of energy exhaustion. Which sucks. But everybody's clapping because we're super happy um, that that happened. So we're going to spread money to clear up her reputation again. If Sadie would wake the fuck up. Everyone's freaking out now because she's awake. She's all bruised and bloody. This, it's always fun spreading money to clear up our reputation. Uh, okay, so that's about all the killing I'm gonna do because how many people have I killed now? I don't know how many people have killed. Seven Sims. Yeah, that's about how much I've I killed in the last one. Just pulls out her knife. She's like, don't come near me, I'll kill you. We're gonna clean ourselves up, which is nice. Because we're covered in blood. She doesn't like killing people. What did I do to deserve this, she says. She's just, being, just holding her gun. And the knife. She's crazy. Holy. Okay, then we're gonna twerk for some money. So this is the twerking for money option. She works hard for it. She's beaten up and bruised, but she's twerking for that money. And people are giving it to her. You just watched her murder seven sims. And you're just, look at all these, oh my. Even the Grim Reaper's into it. He's like, oh yeah. He's like, I'll take it. I'll murder or I'll, I'll dance. What is this? Garbage. Did you get your moves by watching twerking fail videos? O-M-L. That's hilarious. The Grim Reaper is sassy. Oh, I got 500 bucks. Last <gasps> pancakes. I know I said I was done killing people, but there's nothing more exciting in my life than murdering Eliza Pancakes. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Yes. Oh, that feels so good. I love murdering Eliza Pancakes. <laughs> Just nobody likes her. She's horrible, okay? She's horrible. Anyway, so when you kill a Sim, you can strengthen their connection to a physical world to the physical world. You can release really spirit to the nether world. Um Doing the netherworld one will keep uh, your sim from coming back as a ghost. Connecting it to the phys connecting it to the physical world uh, will help it become a ghost. Um, you can mourn them, put it in for inventory, engrave the epitaph, yada yada yada. So that's, I mean, that's pretty much everything. There's also a few things in cast like you can you can equip them covered in blood, or you can equip them. Um, with a knife or a gun or whatever but I mean who really wants to do that so everyone's upset you know they're all freaking out but Eliza Pancakes is dead and that's exciting 
So, if anyone has any questions about the mod, let me know. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I'm just going to quickly show you guys how to download it. I'll leave the link to the description in the um, bio down below. A link in the description to the download. Gosh, I'm dumb. So, this is the Extreme Violence mod. Um, so... When you click on the link, I'll just bring this over. When you click on the link, it'll bring you here. Um, there's a bunch of other violent mods in here that you can go ahead and download. You just have to see how they all interact with each other uh, before you download them. So the third one, or third one, yeah, the third one down is the Extreme Violence mod. Um, there's a new update that they just came out with um, from the Gen or yeah, the January no February 22nd update um, so if you scroll down there's screenshots uh, and stuff um, and then all the way down here boo, 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 um, it says download so if you click on download it's going to take you to a Dropbox link you're going to click on that and then hit download you can do direct download or save to your Dropbox just direct download it and then just add it to your mod folder like you normally would um, and if you don't know how to do that, go watch my Wicked Whims mod video. It shows you how to add a mod and all that jazz, okay? So that's how you do that. It's really not that complicated, but there's a lot of really horrible stuff that you can do with this mod. Uh, if you have any questions, just drop them down below. I'll do a couple more mod review videos for the other mods that I have. But yeah, that's, that's basically what you get with the Extreme Violence mod. So, everybody, have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!